Hello everyone, welcome back to another watching. Today we're gonna to do a quick follow-up review from my October Watch Gang regular subscription watch. So if you guys watched the box opening, you know I received this Argenti Atelier, I believe is how it's said. Uh, the model number is 15156. So it's interesting when you go to look this one up, uh, it's not actually on Argenti's site anymore, but I did see them on Amazon, um, Groupon, and Overstock in different color variations too. And I, I do like the look of this. Um, it's supposed to be a racing style watch. And I, I get it. I mean, if you look at the, the dial and the sub dials, it does give it kind of a automotive instrument panel you know, with gauges look to it. Um, one thing I do want to say, it's kind of interesting because when I did the box opening, I almost immediately had someone saying that uh, the sub dials were fake on this. So this utilizes one of the Citizen JS50 Myota movements. So it's got a Japanese quartz movement this sub dial is the 24 hour dial. This one's the seconds and minutes and it'll actually work. You know, let's go ahead and push a button here. If you see the second hand's already starting to move. So I'll let that run as we're going and, and uh, the minutes I'm sure will start to pop out. But I just wanted to show that it does have functioning dials. They aren't fake. Um, there was an incident. I've been with Watch Gang for a long time. There was an incident where one of the suppliers set out watches that had fake subdials. And uh, Watch Gang was super upset about it and sent people out replacements. So um, be assured that if you're ordering something from Watch Gang and it does have, you know, subdials, that they're going to work or Watch Gang will, will take care of you. Um, and you know, the instruction book shows the same thing I said. It's it's uh, Japanese Myota movement, quartz movement. So this watch is uh, 43 millimeters by about 13 millimeters thick. Uh, it has a push, you know, a push-pull crown. It's not a screw-down crown. So the water resistance on this one's only about 50 meters. Um, my experience on some of these ones that are only 50 meters is you probably don't want to get them wetter than just washing your hands, if that, and, you know, a little splash and, and dry it off. Because um, I don't think their water resistance is super awesome. Now, I it's weird because I actually really like the watch. I might swap out the band. For some reason... The, the stitching just kind of gets me, and I, I said that in the box opening. Um, I ha I've worn it a couple times, got some compliments on it. People really like it. Let's go ahead and show it on wrist. I'm wearing my Loom Tech, which is still one of my favorite watches. I just love how simple, clean, and comfortable that one is. Um, I wear that one quite a bit. So we'll throw this one on wrist real quick. We'll take a look at the loom. We'll go dark and take a look at the loom. Um, this watch is really comfortable. You know, like I said, I got compliments on it. It's bright green. This would be a good St. Paddy's Day watch. Really cool overall. Um, the values I found, you know, pretty much everywhere was, was selling this one for about 63 bucks. And this was my you know, this was on the regular tier, so this was a $29.99 watch. Um, I signed up for extra months or full a uh, full year and had a promo code. So this actually cost me about $24.50 before shipping and handling. So I paid $24.50. Everywhere you go to buy it, it's about a $63 watch. And it's not bad. I mean, I don't I don't think you would feel horrible if you actually did pay 60 bucks for this watch. It's it's pretty cool. It's comfortable. I like it. It it gets wrist time. All right, I'm going to pause the video really quick and we'll check out the loom and be right back. All right, guys, we've gone dark. And as you can see, the loom is already going a little bit. Let's charge it up here. See how bright we can get it. 
Black light is the best way to test loom in a hurry for sure. It's got pretty solid loom. I mean, you can see the the subdials illum illuminate where the hands are. Pretty cool. We will be back in the light and we'll finish up. All right, we are back out of the dark. So we'll just finish up. Again, this was the Argenti that I had received on my October regular subscription from Watch Gang. Overall, pretty happy. I think Watch Gang delivered. Like I said, everywhere you see this thing for sale, it's about $63. I paid $24.50. Hard to complain. I think they hit it out of the park with the, the value right there, right where it should be. And if you look, our seconds and our minute hand has started moving. So we'll go ahead and, or kept moving, I should say. Go ahead and stop that. Oops. And there it goes, starting to wind back. Wind back time. Just wanted to show that again, that, that those are functioning dials. Let me know what you guys think of this one. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.